Hello everybody, my name is ZA1243 is cool, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And in this video, I'm gonna find out what would happen if our son suddenly had a binary, a very close binary partner. Uh, like another, like identical mass son, or something a little smaller, like Proxima Centauri or just a son. Or something, you know, if it was something bigger, it would just probably pull the sun in and just hit. Ooh, it says the type orange giant, probably blue giant. White main sequence, oh uh, yeah, it is kind of white. So let's go with which ones? I'm gonna place Proxima Centauri really close. Either two things are gonna happen. It's gonna cause. Oh. The time was going too quick. Oops. Sorry. I'm gonna move my microphone a tiny bit. There we go. Can't. You know what? I'm gonna type like 5M for, for. I feel like I have caps lock on. Yep. It doesn't really matter. I'm going with five minutes a second, so not very fast. Okay, binary, Proxima Centauri. Okay, here we go. Either it's just gonna orbit and just orbit, or it's gonna orbit and get pulled apart. Or sometimes the game bugs out and, or, and it's going to orbit and somehow pull apart the sun. Let's find out. Come on. I could just look for the... I could... I could probably... I could probably go on the graphics and turn off the glow. You know what? That's exactly what I'll do if I could find it. Graph... Uh, settings. Graphics. Where would it be? Glows. Oh, that looks weird. Nah, so we're not going to be blind. Come on. Let's slow down Proxima Centauri so it falls slightly closer come on you're not even pulling it up oh, how is it pulling apart the sun I was kind of expecting that my fish just whipped his tail onto the top of the water on the tank I think since uh, the sun's bigger it's gonna pull its material back before Proxima Centauri could consume it and get bigger. So, yeah. Ooh, just hit an ear, bud. Yeah, I think it's just pulling apart part of the sun, but the sun pulls it back before Proxima Centauri can consume it and get it into a bigger star. And then pull out more and you get it. Uh, oh, there we go. Two merge. But now, what would happen if the sun suddenly was getting orbited by itself? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Glows are going to be turned off until I turn it back on. Binary. Sun. How close can I get him before... Most of the time, I'm. Uh, that's probably good enough. Go with four minutes a second. Now, the one I'm clicking on is the sun that we orbit around, not the one I placed. So, come on. Also, leave a comment down below how you think my microphone sounds. Yeah, they're pulling each other apart 
Uh, okay, so this one's getting pulled apart more than the other. Well, uh, they really haven't eaten. Uh, subscribe to this first video that you've seen by me. Hit the like button. I think the one that we orbit around, I mean, you know, it's going to con consume the material from the other one, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Which one's going to uh, be bigger, or is are they just going to hit? Oh, whoa. It's basically a streamer of their material. I, I think they gave a, the material gravitational gravity assist and stuff. Plonk. That's the material from each other. Now, what happens if I place a star that's slightly bigger? Uh, that's slightly bigger. Or is this? This one's a tiny. Whoa! It's not as dense as the sun. Alright. Now I'm gonna place it like right here, so it's kind of far. Sorry, Mercury. So I'm gonna edit and put it on the opposite side of Mercury. Oops. Slow down time. 5M for. F the sun's just gonna be. It just got ripped out of its spot. It's kind of weird not seeing the glow around the sun. The star. Either it's gonna hit it. So, sorry, Venus. Is our son getting ejected? <laughs> Is our sun getting ejected from its own system? <laughs> That'd be kind of entertaining. So, by Earth. Oh, our is an Earth getting close. I could probably trim the glow. Oops, wrong one. I can trim the. There we go. Oh, I thought a star would be glowing. <laughs> I think the sun's just ejecting planets and objects left and right. Either they're gonna collide right here, right now, or. Oh. That one's getting pulled apart. I find it weird when the smaller object tears apart the bigger companion. I find that odd. Come on. Let's just switch it up time. Sorry. <laughs> Any planet is basically getting in trouble. Where's the Mercury? Did Mercury get cons uh, eaten? Yeesh, I slowed on time so it sounds lucky. That's gonna bother me that it's thousands a second. <laughs> okay. The outer plants are gonna have a harder time because uh, they're already moving super slowly. Like Mercury moves like, I don't know, making up a random number, say 50 kilometers a second. Something like Uranus is moving at 6. 
kilometers a second, and Uranus takes like a hundred and something years to orbit or something. <coughs> Apparently zero seconds to orbit. Because it probably, the game is probably having a hard time. Which one? There we go. Two. And then let's halt our velocity so we get a supernova, shall we? What object is that? Oh, that's Uranus's uh, trail. I can turn on the orbit switch. It's going to be like that. They're probably going to be uh, pulled closer by the gravity of the two. And then, uh, you know, eject did because they're going to hit. Okay, I'm going to delete some stuff. So, I hit a button. I don't know what button. Delete these objects. Try not to delete any like planet or something. There we go. Ooh. Oh. Bye, Jupiter. I could probably just turn off trails, that would probably reduce some lag. Halt all velocities. Oh, well, one of my friends is playing Skyrim. The, that one, in, I'm not going to say his name. Because I don't want him to just get a sent random Steam friend request. <laughs> like, why are you getting so many, why am I getting so many friend requests? I don't know. I would say his name, but... He'd probably get annoyed, but I did. He's my. Uh, come on. You know what? I'm sweeping this up. Edit. I don't know how to say it. Come here. Oops. Come here. Come up. Oh, it's really far down. Come here. I could probably just drag it. Edit. Oh, I'm flipping its rotational the axes of its. Come on. Good enough. Huh. No. I hate the so labels. No, why don't shall we do it? Because I don't want mess around with stuff. Should I try to make a. First, I'm going to make this start on pause.
Let's make a trinary star system, shall we? Trinary is uh, three stars over each other. I think it's like two stars could either be closely over each other or far out. And then one orbiting both. I don't know how it works. See, so I could put uh, the sun on and right here and I'm gonna have it in an elliptical orbit where it orbits above and below so I believe these two so oh, I'm not focused on either of them I believe the two stars those two suns are gonna orbit each other But the outer star, Proxima Centauri, could be a. Uh, is gonna be pulling on the two. And I think they're gonna retry to. Stick, I don't know if they're simulating the game or not, but it's probably a lot of work to do. Where they, like, get pulled closer, which causes the two. Uh, and they both slow down, so they fall closer together. I don't know. But since these two are closely orbiting, it's like two of our sun masses just like one star with two of its masses so yeah let's, add a, let's make a quaternary system with probably something smaller a quaternary system could be uh, two stars orbiting each other that's being orbited by two other stars orbiting each other or it could just be three stars over in each other being orbited by a super far out one. I believe I have a simulation somewhere. It's called a trinary. Uh, yeah, I made this one a while ago. And it's just you this star being orbited by Ceres and our sun. And I didn't even remember doing this. It's technically a trinary system because it's two stars over each other, which, which are orbiting another star. Oh, yeah. Is that how it works? If I view orbits. Oh, yeah, I should have really seen that coming. I think it, they're going to be orbiting this star. I'm not sure. I think that's how it works, but Ceres has a advantage of our sun because it's slightly bigger, like another sun mass on it. Um, Tidal evolution eccentricity. Ah, oh, normally gives me a little thing to read. It's just the moon over in the sun. That's not even a star. Why is this one not a st star? Okay. I'm gonna get this one second. Sun. What? Uh, yep. So I thought so. Edit. Don't want our moon to be destroyed. So. How could I. I think if I pull. This way. Nope. Stop moving its spin. Changing it now. There we go. Just gonna orbit. They're really above the plane of the game, which is uh, so we in this way. I thought I was gonna orbit. Like left to right, not right to left. I think I edited the spin of our uh, moon. There we go. Fix the sun heat. So it's gonna be a blast with even more heat. The sun was too hot. 
when it did a, its past approach, it would just probably evaporate. So let's just hold down 9 for a little bit. So it goes to a super deep blue. Now it's uh, sending out so much heat. So when the moon passes by, oh, the moon's five Earth masses. It's gonna pass. Oh, surprise! It got destroyed. And let's blow it up. Boo! Why do I like supernovas so much? I don't know. Oops! Just hit my mouse on my keyboard. A triple eclipse of Jupiter in 2015. Consider me intrigued. Oh, I think it's where maybe the three closest moons pass in between the sun. I don't know. They don't really simulate. Uh, oh, that's why I'm lagging. That is every planet with all of its moons. Normally I can handle with like the Jupiter moons. Yeah, you know, let's fix my lag. Come on, I'm just gonna evaporate like all all the planets. Since the planets can't survive, what else can't survive? The moons. So they begin to heat up drastically. Supernova passed over like all the moons. So I'm gonna. Let it expand through the whole solar system so it just vaporizes everything. So Jupiter is getting black. All the moons are getting blasted. thousand Jupiter masses it's a blue uh, color to star it's almost the Sun man if I just hold all velocities the moons are just gonna the close ones are just gonna fall to their planet okay terrible idea well what shall we do backspace I had to look over my microphone because covers some of my uh, keyboard oh yeah now remember this, Cassini collision with Saturn on September 15th, 2017. I remember this, I was actually, when this, when Cassini hit Saturn, it was about the time I was getting up for school. That's the funny thing. Like, five minutes after it hit, I got up for school. <sighs> on September 15th, 2017, the world said goodbye to the uh, space, Cassini spacecraft as it ended its historic mission with the final plunge, with the final plunge into Saturn, sorry. During its 13 years orbiting Saturn, Cassini made a number of uh, invaluable discoveries about the planet, its rings, and its moons. Ah, why am I always yawning when I'm recording? I don't get me. We know that the massive geyser covering the South Pole region of the moon cell just shoot icy particles into space, forming uh, most of Saturn's E-ring and hinting at a massive subsurface ocean, which is cool. A uh, subsurface is just underneath, like, there's like a sheet of ice, but there's heat, there's just water surrounded by the surface of the planet itself, so much. Mm. I'm on this one, and now, and now, and we know, now we know that the surface of Titan's, Titan Saturn's largest moon shares a, a surprising number of characteristics with Earth, including dunes, m mountain ranges, 
rivers, lakes, and seas. It's not of water. It's not uh, lakes of water and stuff like that. It's a methane. Methane gas. Well, methane liquid in this case. But methane, it's a gas here on Earth because it's so hot. Well, hot. I'm doing air quotes. So, it's so cold on Triton. Mm. So, with its array of something instruments, can you watch as storms rage on Saturn and seasons change it? Discovered new moons provided insights into the behavior of its famous rings. Completely changed our understanding of the magnetosphere and the magnetic field. The mission had been extended twice and Cassini in orbit nine was in orbit nine years longer than it tend originally intended. With its fuel nearly gone, its course was uh, intentionally set for the screen, I don't know, in Saturn's atmosphere to prevent possible contamination of any moons. In case any uh, uh, moons have life, we don't want bacteria from our planet or whatever to say it can be toxic if there's life and kill everything. I just read that. Kyle Cassini, thanks for all your good work. And thanks for all the whole hard-working scientists from NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency who made Cassini, the Cassini mission possible. So moving at one hour a second. Well, look closely at the time. Because I like think right when Cassini uh, hit, like five minutes later, I was getting up for school. I believe it hit at 6.40 a.m. on the 15th. Yes. So that means I got up five minutes later at 6.45 to get, up, get ready for school. Which was crazy. I knew it was going to hit, but I didn't know when in the day. Then I found out in the game actually that it hit right after I get, like right before I got up. I'm like ah, it's probably over the news and stuff like that. And it would be a real shame if Saturn just exploded. Peace. It's raining. Say all Saturn didn't convert into heat, and its mass was still there. Uh, the stuff with it wouldn't uh. The stuff in orbit wouldn't really change if it, all of Saturn's mass was still there. It would, since its mass is still there, it would everything would still over. But if everything got converted into a hundred percent heat, then that would happen, or some of it did, not all of it, since it would be lighter. The gravitational pull wouldn't be as nearly as strong, well, not as strong, and it would fly outward. Y you know, basic science stuff. I feel like everything else is, has its moons. Yep. So say all now we're gonna have an additional sixty some odd planets orbiting the sun because they're no longer bound to a, uh, a planet. So that means they're orbiting the sun at different angles, stuff. So that means they're orbiting the sun, which changes their status. I don't know. They're probably dwarf planets actually. Not that view. If I go with their orbits, it's probably over time, you'll see the, oh, what, I can't, there we go, what you can see is their orbit streak, apparently they don't orbit, oh that's said enough, some of them are probably going to get pulled into an orbit, like these ones, but uh, some of them are going to just fling, Oh. Huh. Goodbye to some of Saturn's moons. <laughs> How to fix your lag problems in the solar system. It's about the sun. That's Mercury. There we go probably gonna be bound to each other. I was checking on YouTube cause on a random YouTuber 
and the video that I had the tab I had open in the tab it was unlisted so I'm just gonna copy the link down so I can watch it ever again if I wanted to paste there we go done yeah, jokes on that person. Not gonna say who, cause you could just buy. Yo, the ZF one two four three is cool. Has a link to your unlisted video. <laughs> why am I so? Why am I always now doing stars and stuff in this game? Especially in this video. How long is this video? I have no clue. I should really keep an eye out. I should really. I have a stopwatch going on my phone, so I could be like, oh, the video's getting too long, I should end it. I might do another 10 minutes. Oops. So what do you want to do for 10 minutes? Hmm. Hmm. Tesla Roaster. Where is the Tesla Roaster right now in space? It's like halfway to Mars, nice. Yeah, you know all about the Tesla Roaster. Where's Mars? If I go to view and orbit, I'm just gonna cross Mars. It's gonna pass over Mars's orbit. Let's see. Let's see how what day. So, around the 12th of this month, the Tesla Roaster is going to pass over Mars, which is cool. I thought it's orbit where it just get flung out. There was a camera on it, but they, it died. It would have been cool if, uh, you say, saved a tiny bit of power, and as it approached Mars in the future... We could like take a cool little picture and send it to uh, ourselves, which would be actually pretty cool. What's the orbital period of the Tesla Roaster? Well, a little over a year and a half. You know what? Let's go with fifteen solar masses. Oh, but it's gonna explode! Great. No, it's gonna hypernova. No, it's the same thing. It's Exploded. It hypernova. So everything except for the Tesla Roaster is gonna evaporate. The sun might turn into a that intense light. Oh, it lost so much mass, so it can't hold on to the planets as well. So it's like bye, bye, people. It's been nice to be ordered by you for four and a half billion years, roughly. Hi. Uh, that'd actually be kind of entertaining, say, in the future. Uh, this, how uh, the Tesla Roaster just came at Earth. Okay, where's Earth? I'm gonna launch the Tesla Roaster at our own planet. What happened if it hit, uh, no, human objects? Tesla. Say I launch at it at 30 kilometers a second. What would happen if this hit our planet? It's gonna hit when the Earth's over there. But the Earth pulling it closer, so it's gonna speed up. So, what kind of crater would this create if it hit? <sighs> Did I say the asteroid that hit Earth that killed the dinosaurs? Hit 15 minutes later and hit in the ocean. The dinosaurs still could be uh here because it would probably just create a tsunami that would be uh 
Dep no, it wouldn't be stuff. Because if something like 400 feet across hits in the ocean, by the time it hits the continental shelf, it'll make it collapse or whatever. But the thing was 60 miles across, so that would not help. But it could just create a tsunami and, uh, you know, possibly still be here. I learned that from a TV show called How the Universe Works. It's actually fairly interesting, in my opinion. So where is it going to impact in the ocean? So it's not going to... So if there was a tsunami, it would just get... Uh, it would just collapse before it hit. That would be kind of weird to see a huge wave just get broken up. I would say sorry if this was hidden in a continent, but it's not hitting in a continent. Sorry, fish. It made a little ding. Oh, that's a fragment. There's a single fragment in the atmosphere. No, it's not in the atmosphere anymore. It's still gonna hit gonna go back up and what goes up must calm down or are you gonna hit oh sorry for my Americans Bonk. oh it's my home state fine yeah I'm fine sorry to anyone in that area of the United States so that would happen if the Tesla roster hit in the middle of the ocean Hi, Mr. Moon. What would happen if the Tesla roaster crashed into the moon? Is it still at 30 kilometers a second? Yeah. What happened to the moon? Since the moon's smaller, its gravity wouldn't pull it. Uh, fragments would get away from it. Nope. I don't see anything. Well, I know I find it kind of interesting that if Jupiter crashed in the sun, the color would shift. It would shift from orangish yellow uh, to uh, blue. I believe I showed you this in a, a previous episode. So if I were to launch Jupiter... Oh. Let's launch Jupiter at the sun at 30 kilometers a second. It's obviously going to speed up because... Uh, gravity. It's gonna happen kind of quick, so I'm gonna click on the sun and slow down time as much as I can. Like as uh, it's not near hitting. Well, it's near hitting, but it's not as close as I thought it was. So, it's gonna go from this yellow to white, then to blue. It's quite interesting, and it, yeah, it's interesting that if something like Jupiter, right around the mass of Jupiter, hit our sun, our sun would uh, shift color. That would be actually kind of cool. Like, for here, it would take eight minutes for light to it reach it to where it our planet. So, you know, we would see it shift like brighter yellow, then white, and slowly shift into a blue. Which means that would be hot and we might not be in the habitable zone anymore. Then uh, water would evaporate. Let's speed up time a tiny bit. Ooh. Oh. The surfaces of the two are about to touch. Mwah. Are they hidden? Yep, the temperature is rising on the sun because something's hitting it. You can watch the sun, it's going to shift. See, it's beginning to shift to a white. But the problem is, Jupiter's causing fragments to come out, which means it's losing mass. So that means the planets are going to fly out. So if it gets too small, the game is going to just shift it from a star 
back to a gas giant. See, it's now a blue star. That would be quite cool to see. Always, I've always thought what our sun would look like if it was blue. But I think it's, yep, it lost too much mass, so it's now back to a planet. And it's evaporating quickly, so I, no, no. No, no, I am not losing the sun. Absorb your mass back. It didn't absorb its mass back, huh? Has it been 10 minutes? Probably. Almost. It's been nine. So, anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button. Can we get this video to a whopping five likes? It's not that many. We can easily do it. Uh, leave a comment down below how your day's been going. Oh, you know what? Never mind, not how your day's been going. Uh, uh, what would be a good thing to comment? Uh, leave a comment down below if you're a dentist. <laughs> Subscribe if this is the first video that you've seen by me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.